Audiences are fascinated and enchanted by the magic of animation. From hand-drawn cartoons to computer-generated 3D motion graphics, animation entertains and adds pizzazz to media we enjoy every day. College of DuPage has long supported this field of study, and the Motion Picture Television Program offers an Associate in Applied Science degree in animation. The curriculum is designed to nurture skills and prepare students for exciting careers animating for video gaming, film, and TV. At College of DuPage, we have an animation associate degree. It's a, a, an associate of applied arts degree. And uh, it's a two-year program, which takes you through the animation curriculum and some gen ed. And we are proposing a certificate, which it's not in effect yet, but it probably will be within the next year. The difference between an AAS degree, or associate of applied arts degree, and a certificate is the fact that a certificate doesn't include general education. I had one student with a, a PhD that was starting to go through animation. Obviously he doesn't need to worry about the gen ed area so that would also be a, a, a good reason to not take the Associate of Applied Arts approach and just go for a certificate. In our animation program students learn a number of different techniques from traditional animation to computer graphics to special effects. We teach uh, human animation, what called pixelation, where you're actually animating people. Uh, clay animation, where you create objects out of clay, and build sets, and then animate the, the, the clay characters, tell a story based on those. Um, we do drawn animation, you know, traditional animation, and those are the basic uh, classes. And then once you're done with that class, you can start the computer-based animation. Uh, 3D animation is one of the, one of the uh, classes we teach as well, and you will learn basic concepts of creating 3D models, characters, building sets in, in a 3D environment, and, and animating lighting and animating those. Uh, we also do a special effects class where you learn different types of motion graphics and special effects. In fact, that's the name of the class, motion graphics and special effects. Students should be confident enough once they get out of our program to be able to draw any character, uh, to animate him, and to use most any software that's available out there right now. I myself have been uh, a humorous illustrator for 17 odd years. Um, I've done everything from t-shirts to books to greeting cards. I've done limited animation. Uh, I've done a number of character designs and model sheets. The point of storyboarding is to actually work out all the technical problems that you may run into, plus be able to tell your story and get the timing down. I get asked a lot, can you make a living in animation? Um, and I, I have to answer, it's completely up to the student. And, and if you want to and you're willing to pay the price, which is a lot of training, a lot of self-discipline, a lot of going after jobs when you're asking yourself, why after I've gotten turned down from 25 interviews should I take any more? And you just say, no, I'm going to keep, keep focused on this. I'm going to be an animator. Animation is something that is pretty versatile. And, and if a person is, uh, is versatile, they're going to do better. Because, and it depends on the company. If you work at a big place, and they, they, if you look at the credits on a major animated feature, they'll have you know, 200 people that did lighting on a, a CG film, like a Toy Story or something like that. Uh, they specialize in setting uh, computer lights. There's people that specialize in building models. But uh, there's other operations that want to have people be able to do those things plus other things. Or, um, my, my company in particular, we would take anything we could get. And I, I went after kind of odd jobs, the kind that people didn't want to do because they were too hard or they're, you know, it wasn't standard work. And uh, we did a lot of different things where we would kind of invent stuff as we went. And it, it, made, it, it made it a lot more interesting for me and it was uh, pretty intriguing. 
College of DuPage has had a formal animation degree since 2007, so it's only two years old. And at this point, we're, we're just getting our first graduates through. Um, Bob Blevins was actually the first to make it. He graduated last summer. I'm going to be signing graduation papers for probably four or five more students this year. It seems like we're getting a good momentum going. Our classes are filling. There's an enthusiasm for the class. I've been almost having to turn down students, which I hate to do, but we've been getting a lot of, a lot of people wanting to go through the program. So as it's growing, and I, I'm really working hard to let people know that we exist and to make sure that the classes are run to the proper standards. And it's something I love. I, I, I've always loved animation, and this has been a riot teaching it. I want to keep this going. And my, I have a personal goal, uh, which I, I have written down, and I keep it in the drawer of mine about animation. And when it comes to pass, I will publicly announce it. For more information about COD's animation degree, as well as other degree and certificate course offerings in the Motion Picture Television Program, visit their pages on the web at cod.edu.